Hello everybody and today we're going to talk about classification of organic compounds. So welcome to the online courses that we conduct at Thomas Tutorials. And the, the first thing that we're going to do today is classification of organic compounds for grade 11. Organic compounds are those compounds which contains carbon. And carbon has got the special property of forming unlimited bonds with itself. And it keeps going on and on to form many as many compounds in the whole universe. Now this property of carbon is called as catenation. With this we know that nearly there are some 30-40 millions of organic compounds. And so it becomes practically impossible for us to study them individually and therefore classification becomes compulsory, mandatory. Organic compounds like you see over here are classified in these two ways. Classification based on their structure and classification based on their functional group. The classification of organic compounds based on their functional group we will be talking about in another video tutorial. But for time being, we're going to talk of classification based on their structure. Great. So organic compounds are classified into two. Aliphatic, which is straight chain or open chain. These compounds are joined to form open carbon chain. Open. Their ends are open. And these compounds are also called as alicyclic or open chain compounds. Their structures may be branched, may be straight chain. So something like a simple straight chain butane, straight chain pentane, they all come under aliphatic. The other classification is cyclic closed chain or ring compounds. And these are the compounds in which carbon atoms are joined to form one or more rings. Now you see they are further classified as homocyclic, which is carbocyclic or heterocyclic. So homocyclic, what does that tell you? In these compounds, the ring will be made only of carbon. The ring is made up of just the carbon atoms. And heterocyclic compounds, if, as the name tells you, in these compounds, there will be an inclusion of minimum one or maybe more heteroatoms, non-carbon atoms, which could be anything like oxygen, nitrogen, or even sulfur. They're also further divided. If you look at the division, whether it's homocyclic or whether it's heterocyclic, they're further divided as alicyclic compound or aromatic compound. Look here, oh, again alicyclic compounds or aromatic compounds. These are classifications which come from homocyclic, therefore I call them as homoalicyclic compounds or homoaromatic compounds. These are classifications which is further broken down from hetero, so I call them as heteroalicyclic compounds or heteroaromatic compounds. So you see what I'm going to do? I'm going to first discuss these two and then I'm going to discuss these two. And it's only after discussing these four I'm going to talk to you about this gray shade. What you should be doing ideally at this point in time is pausing this video, drawing this chart which is in front of you, this classification chart. Draw it so that you really know it. You get a hang of it. And then you proceed this. So alicyclic and aromatic. Alicyclic and aromatic. So what is that I'm talking? I'm talking about these two, alicyclic and aromatic which is a part of this classification, which is a part of this classification, which is a part of this classification. So guys, I'm talking about this. Yeah. So alicyclic and aromatic. So what's alicyclic? These compounds show something common, something similar to that of the aliphatic compounds. Remember the aliphatic compounds? The cyclobutane over here and there it would be butane. The pentane over there would be cyclopentane here. And what's worth noting is that it only have single bonds. Whereas in aromatic, they would have double bonds. These are compounds which contain at least one aromatic ring. What do you mean by aromatic ring? The double bond enclosure, which resembles the benzene ring, alternate double, alternate single bond. And what you should do right now is again pause. Draw these, know these names, know what's what. So well, where were we? We were over here. We finished the homocyclic part of these two, alicyclic and aromatic. And obviously now I'm going to these two segments, the heterocyclic and the heterocyclic, which is further broken down into heteroalicyclic and heteroaromatic. Yeah. So that's this, heteroalicyclic. So in the cycle, there's one non-carbon, there's one non-carbon. 
So the same here also there will be a non-carbon. The whole difference between this and the whole difference between this would be the simple fact that this would have single bonds and there would be a minimum of a double bond here, one double bond at least. Yeah, you're getting a hang of it, right? Good. And I hope you're writing them. These names you should know because that's what comes in MCQs. So, well, I finished these two and these two. You can pause and rewind as many times as you want. Clear? Okay. Now, what is that I'm going to talk? I'm telling you that the aromatic compounds, whether it belongs to the homocyclic or whether it belongs to the heterocyclic, the aromatic compounds are further broken down into two. And the way I check it is if they have a benzene nucleus. If it doesn't, it's non-benzenoid. Whether it has a benzene nucleus or a non-benzene nucleus. So first let's see homoaromatic classification. That's this part. So here it has a benzene nucleus and it will have a non-carbon element. So it's benzenoid and here it has a no benzene, it's something else, it's something more than six. Non-benzenoid. You, you, you getting what I'm talking here? So hetero can be benzenoid or non-benzenoid. That's this, hetero. Benzenoid or non-benzenoid. And then this one, the aromatic homocyclic. Do you get this? So again, benzenoid, aromatic, and non-benzenoid. But this time this is homocyclic, and the previous one that you did was heterocyclic. Get a good sense of this. Pause, rewind, do as many times as you would like to do this. And I'd like to leave you with this much. I'm going to see you soon with another tutorial to be studying when you are at your convenience zone. Thanks, guys. See you soon.